Hey everyone, um, I wanted to share a little story because um, something's going on at the moment for me that is, um, well who knows where it will lead and I just thought I would record a little something from the kind of the beginning. Um, first I'll tell you the story. When I was five years old I played the violin and I loved it. Um, I loved it so much and then we changed um, from the, we moved from the east to the north and um, another three members of my family kind of were born and um, it was just a bit of a madhouse and in order to continue the lessons um, I yeah it wasn't automatic because I changed schools and so I begged for a new teacher but there just was no time and probably no money for it um, or something like that so anyway I didn't get to continue playing the violin when I was five and I always remembered that as something that I had really wanted to do um, so anyway, one day, way, way, way down the track, I think I was about 23, I was living, or 22, it, so I guess it was, yeah, 10 years ago, I was living in Israel and, um, I woke up in the morning one day and decided I'm going to start playing the violin again. And I made this decision and, um, for whatever reason, I ended up going to dinner at someone's house that night and his sister was playing the cello. And I said, wow, that's amazing. Just today I decided that I'm going to start playing the violin again. I used to play when I was when I was five. And she said, oh, okay, do you have a violin? And I said, no. And she said, well, do you want a violin? Here, you can have this violin. And I was like, really? And she said, yeah, of course, but you have, to you have to learn to play it. So I said, okay, thank you. And I took the violin. And truthfully, I have been carrying this violin all around the world, um, you know, moving it from place to place. I haven't really been playing it, though. I have started to play it a couple of times over the years, but for like a couple of weeks at a time, and then I have stopped. So... Um, I just know that when I hear violin being played, my heart kind of like just something happens to me and it feels like my soul song. It feels like that's like if I was a sound, I'd be a violin and I want to be able to play that so much. Um, and I watched a video yesterday of a girl who showed her progress from the very beginning, um, to two years down the track and she's, she's masterful after two years. It's amazing truth she does practice every day that's for sure um so i get that it takes a lot of work and um, but that's never really been a problem for me i work hard anyway so i think i don't know but i've started again and we will see how i go this round but i thought just as a little um progress to reveal how i play right now which is not i can't play um, I don't even have a shoulder rest, I'm just sort of like winging it. But I will just play what I can play so that there'll be some progress to show. Maybe that'll inspire somebody else one day to start, hopefully. So, hmm, let's see. I thought it would be good to learn something that I actually liked, so I started to learn um, this chord, this thing from the song, but I don't know if I can do it, let's see. <laughs> okay, that's it from me. It obviously doesn't sound too good just yet. Um, but yeah, I will come back with a bit more progress this is when I've when I've practiced more and have um, more to show. And let's see, maybe I can learn violin after all. Hmm. Maybe in another ten years I'll be a master. I would hope so. I would like to be. That'd be amazing. Happy holidays, everyone! Lots of love and have a restful, um, restful. Well, play.
a lot over the new year and then may the entrance into the new year be rich with grounded centered aligned vision and um, abundance in whichever form that might be for you and your highest interests spirit journey bless bye